so I need to apologize. I have been using the line object to create synth envelope for almost two years on this channel, and I never questioned why it was so noisy, especially when using with a sign tone. I just thought that it was the short attack time that was the issue. Well, something that I realized just recently is that we could have been using line tilde or V line tilde this whole time. So again, here's the envelope with short attack and release time using the line object. And here's the same envelope but with the line tilde object. It's a lot smoother and less noisy. So anytime you see the line object in my past tutorials, just replace it with a line tilde object. I'm really sorry for this mistake and any frustration that it may have caused. While at it, let's learn about V-line tilde. V-line tilde and line tilde behave pretty much the same except for two main ways. One of the main differences is that V-line tilde is more sample accurate. Because line tilde operates per block of audio, we cannot use very short time like 0.1 milliseconds. Another key difference is that we don't have to use delay objects with V-line tilde in order to create a complex envelope. All we need is one single message object. Let's analyze what's going on here. When this message is activated, the envelope goes from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 in 1000 milliseconds. So that's the attack time. Then the value of 1.0 is held or sustained for 2000 milliseconds. And after that, it will go down to 0, 0.0 in 500 milliseconds. So where did that 2000 millisecond sustain time come from? This is what initially confused me about V-line tilde. So the sustain time is the 3000 milliseconds in this message. But it's not that 1.0 is sustained for 3000 milliseconds after the envelope goes from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. That 3000 millisecond clock actually starts simultaneously as the 1000 millisecond attack time. 3000 minus 1000 is 2000. So that's the actual sustain time duration. Therefore, the total length of time of this envelope is 3500 milliseconds. With all that in mind, let's watch this envelope in action again. And we can of course create an envelope that's even more complex. For me personally, I'll be using line tilde instead of V line tilde for one main reason. When using embedded audio platforms like Daisy, V line tilde is not supported. And I think using delay objects with buttons is probably better for tutorials anyway. Again, I'm sorry for the mistake, and I hope that you have more fun with Pure Data by using a cleaner sounding envelope. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.